Hello, everyone. Um, today, I uh, I just wanted to talk about um, making decisions about um, about um, making treatment options for yourself. Um, this happens a lot with my job, and uh, and so it was just a topic I decided to talk about. I, I do talk about that with my patients um, when they are indecisive about um, whatever treatment options that they have for whatever particular um, uh, ailment that they they have um, uh, with their body whether it be like a lower back issue and that they are concerned or anxious about uh, getting surgery or, or you know those types of, of, of options that um, especially those type of options like surgery where you you just can't take that back you know some of the more invasive uh, non-invasive ones um, are are things that you know you could try and if it doesn't work oh well you know you at least you tried that um, but to uh, go into something like surgery um, I think there's a there's a certain uh, level of mind that you should have well before you decide to do something like surgery because um, in my experience from doing uh, this line of work um, all treatments work to some degree and all treatments don't work and it can vary and it really doesn't seem to much matter what kind of injury that you have or what kind of percentage the success rate is for that particular injury. There's a certain people that will get better with that and there are certain people that won't. And um, so what I really generally try to focus on because of course um, analyzing you know the actual MRI scans that I do or it's not my job and um, so I don't uh, I don't judge them in that way. Um, but you know the things about you know what you should do as far as treatment options and stuff. I generally try to shy away from that because I do feel like you know that's a, um, a somebody's individual choice on what they should do, and only they can really know what what is right for them. But what I do say is that whatever treatment option that you decide that you should do, um, you should do with a level of acceptance uh, of it. Um, for example, and I'll use uh, uh, an example of surgery. You know, um, uh, this happened today with a, a patient of mine at work, where you know he he had a lot of anxiety about getting back surgery he was um, he really had been you know but he also has been wrestling around with this uh, back problem for many years and he just is unsure of whether he should do the surgery or not and um, my answer to him was more of um, hitting the anxiety uh, head on more than anything else because the reason the um, the the main thing is if you're going to decide to do this surgery or whatever treatment option that you decide you should be mentally prepared to, for whatever outcome happens you cannot go in there saying, "Well, I hope this works," you know, and I'm not sure, you know, and, and, and you know, but I'm anxious if it doesn't work, and you know, you're you're what you're doing is setting yourself up for mental pain. Pain is not a problem. Thinking about pain is a big problem. 
because then you have two levels of pain. You have a physical pain and then you have a mental pain too. You have a, somebody, a, a suffering ghost that lives inside of you that continues to cause suffering within you. So the main thing is to uh, go into, and again I'll use the example of surgery as, as um, an example, go into surgery saying, you know what, I have tried every option that I could think of and this is the best option that I have come with, uh, come up to. This, this is the option, all, I've exhausted all the other means. I accept whatever outcome comes out of this. And if it doesn't work, I won't beat myself up about the decision to make, uh, you know, that I made about doing the surgery. I won't beat uh, myself up about whether or not the doctor did a good job or not. I'll accept that too. I'll accept any outcome. But I know that I've chosen this just fully. I accept anything that happens out of it and whatever happens I'll deal with. Then what happens is that you know by doing that you basically eliminate the ghost, the suffering entity that lives inside of you that is so ready to suffer suffer the negative outcomes that come out of surgery even if they aren't a negative you know there's a certain amount of discomfort that is expected out of something like surgery you know you were supposed to you you generally don't come out of surgery and just completely pain free although that does happen but um, a lot of times that doesn't happen right away and there's a certain process of, of recovering from something like that um, so that comes with acceptance of where you are and keeping yourself here in this moment making the best of this moment no matter what it is if it's pain it's pain making the best of this moment right now not projecting that pain out to the future and ex and saying oh my goodness this is you know this or in the past saying oh my god this is you know uh, better or worse than what I had before, you know, and then or and projecting it into the future, you know, wondering how much longer you're going to have to suffer with this. So just making the best of this moment right here. But I think that is the best thing that you can do for yourself for any type of treatment because, again, so much of pain is also mental as well. Physical discomfort, yes. Mental discomfort couples that and creates suffering out of it. So the main thing I would I would encourage everyone to do is again is do not do anything that you still do have anxiety over because of that, because you are setting yourself up for an inevitable fall. <clears throat> Even if it's not in that surgery, it almost inevitably will uh, project it out because you really haven't learned that lesson yet and that uh, ghost is still within you that still needs to be overcome and uh, something else will be another scenario that'll be very similar and that you have to do that too and that happens a lot with people too is you know because they end up with like multiple surgeries and stuff you know they keep thinking that it's the surgery that's gonna uh, help things or something and um, really I, I, I really honestly believe <clears throat> it is the attitude uh, that we have about our bodies about uh, our life, about who we are, uh, these things tend to make a big difference in, in our overall health. And um, I, I just hope this is helpful for, for someone that's uh, still unsure or 
um, still deciding what path they should choose um, for themselves. Thank you everyone for watching and take care.